Hello and welcome to DNQ Football. The MSG Prime Minister's Trophy has got underway for all but two sides. Hosts Vanuatu and of course the Solomon Islands. But that is all about to change. Vanuatu will play Vanuatu B, the development side. And Solomon Islands of course will play New Caledonia, the topic of today's video. How do we see this one going? Well... They're two sides in very different form at the minute. Solomon Islands in excellent form, got to the final of OFC World Cup qualifying. They're doing well in the futsal, the under-19s tournaments. New Caledonia, though, they played three, lost three in OFC World Cup qualifiers. They scored only two goals, one of those in a 7-1 defeat to New Zealand. And they started the MSG Prime Minister's Trophy with a 1-0 defeat, albeit a close-run game against Fiji. Coach Felipe Vega Arraño has said we'll need to take this game seriously. The Solomon Islands will need to take this game seriously because despite the form, these two sides haven't played each other in quite a while. You know, and you have to take each matchup in this region separately. They, they're lots of very different teams. Solomon Islands and PNG, for example, built very differently in terms of the physique and the style of play. But I think style of play is something that New Caledonia are lacking at the moment. I feel like Solomon Islands have a real clear identity. They play the 4-3-3 system, very flexible, attacking fullbacks. One defensive midfielder drops in, and then you've got both attacking midfielders. They push up high, they support the wingers. You've got pace in attack. They can counter-attack, but they dominate possession. Triangles, interplay. They play some of the best football that this region has to offer. It's not quite the heavy metal football, the end-to-end -end stuff that you see in a, in a PNG Vanuatu game that we've already seen for example or even the new cow fiji game but it is very very technical they keep the ball they can counter attack with a pace but they're very very good at keeping the ball whereas i feel i'm not sure i really know the identity of this new caledonia side struggling for form not really putting in any results that kind of I don't know, break headlines. They, they've got a good team on paper. They've got good French influence. They, they always tend to do well in OFC Champions League tournaments, size from, from that region. And yet, they're just struggling a bit, aren't they? We're now 0, 0 for 4 in terms of their, for their four most recent games. And even if you discount the New Zealand game, they've still lost to Fiji. They've still lost to PNG. They've lost to Fiji again. And you look at it and you think, that's actually quite bad. These sides, right? Fiji, PNG, they're in good, they're, they're in they're in a good place at the minute. They are competing at a good, good level. But the Solomon Islands are still a step above these teams in terms of the technical ability throughout the whole squad. They're still a step above. I just can only see this game going one way, and that is a Solomon Islands win. Yes, they'll have to do their jobs, yes, they'll have to play properly, but the Solomon Islands will look at this game. They'll think, we can win this tournament. I don't think they'll be blown away by anyone else they've seen yet. I think they'll be keeping half an eye on the Vanuatu A team or Vanuatu you know, national side. I know it's kind of split squads. And they'll be thinking, mm, okay, let's keep half an eye on that because we have no idea how good they are because we've not seen them play in years. But they'll be looking at this going, oh, there's no New Zealand, the side that seemed to beat us in every final at the minute. So we fancy ourselves for this one. They'll fancy themselves against Fiji. They'll fancy themselves against PNG. They'll fancy themselves in this game. I expect them to get off to a winning start. I think that one thing we've not seen from New Cal is a lot of goals. I don't see that massively changing. I don't know what the squad's going to be for Solomon Islands. I know it's a strong squad that they've brought with them. I expect to see familiar faces. They're not super tight at the back because they play quite expansive football. But I'd still expect it to be 3-0, 3-1. I expect a comfy win for the Solomon Islands. I'm prepared to be wrong, but in order for me to be wrong, I think you'd need a really, really good New Cal performance. And we've not seen one of those in years. Big statement, I know, but years since we've seen New Caledonia sides playing good, fluid football on the international stage. And I don't see that changing in this one. If you're from New Caledonia, I apologise if I've offended you by anything I've said in this. Just my honest opinion. Let me know if you think I'm wrong. Who knows? If you're from the Solomon Islands, we know you absolutely love football and that's completely fair. Your national football side is brilliant to watch. What do you think the result is going to be? How far do you think your team can go in this tournament? Do you think you can go all the way? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment. Really, really helps us out. And don't forget to subscribe as well. All the best to both sides and we'll see you next time.